This is the effect I am going to create today, with Superimpose V. It is actually very simple, and can be done mostly by using masking. Let me start the project, by adding two drone footages from Pexels. Both the footages need to be taken from similar angles, for this effect to work the best. This is the first clip, and this is the second. Let me double tap on the second clip, to make it fill the entire screen. And then move the first clip, on top of the second one, on a different track. For this upside down effect, I need to make the top clip, upside down, which I can do by rotating it by 180 degrees. Now let us use the linear masking tool, to fade out the sky of the top layer, into the bottom. Linear masking tool is here, under the masking section. In masking effect settings, let me rotate it by 180 degrees, so that the bottom part gets removed. And also adjust the fade and the position of it, so that it reveals the sky of the bottom layer. I can drag the bottom layer a bit, to make the sky wider. And then adjust the mask a little more. Now let's play it. The speed of the camera on the top layer, is faster, than the bottom one. We can fix that by using the speed editor on the top layer. Let me try reducing the speed by half. Now it looks okay to me. This is already looking like a nice edit. But before I do anything else, let me match the length of both the clips. Since we have two different clips in this project, we can apply some color effects on both these clips, to blend them better. And adjustment layers, are the best way to apply the same effect, on multiple clips. So let me just add one. And then, match the durations. I am going to add a color effect into the adjustment layer, which can be found under the color category. There are a lot of them to choose from. I think I will go with this one, but reduce the strength of it a little. Let's now play it, and see how it looks. This is nice, but it will be very cool if we could see the reflection of the town, on the water. And for that, we will need to duplicate the town layer, and place it on top of the water. So let's do it. Move this track down, to place it below the adjustment layer, so that adjustments are applied to this layer as well. And then we need to rotate it, to bring the town down. And drag it further down to place it just above the water. Since we rotated it, we also need to flip it, to match it with the other layer. And finally, we need to apply a blend mode, to make it look like a reflection. Soft light blend mode looks good. Now we have this upside down town, with a nice reflection of it on the water. It's now time to add some music into it. We can add some music from Pixabay. Let me add this password infinity track, which I really like. I also need to trim the music track, to match the video track. And make the music fade, at the end. This is nice, but a little too dark. I can use the shadows and highlights effect to lighten the dark parts. This is perfect. This is almost done, but I want to make the reflection a little more realistic. The reflection on the water, cannot be so perfect, there needs to be some distortions. So let me add a distortion called, Fractal Warp, 
which should do the job. This adds these ripple-like distortions, that keep changing over time. Ripples are evolving a little too fast, so just reduce the evolution speed a bit. I think this is perfect, let's just play the whole video now. Thank you for watching.